Antonia and I work here part time, I work in the weekends and yeah I'm a student as well so that's why I work part time. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I don't know. What How long have you worked here? I think it'll be around six months okay. so yeah since like the October. Okay, let's see it. awesome. So the first question that I have is um, what is your like daily job working with inventory? How do you stock it what kind of procedures do you do to keep that in check so for the inventory we have like different procedures obviously you have the, like the stock they have like the orders that come in then you have as well excels that explain you like how is the stock going out mm-hmm. um so there you have it there but it's not really like the assistants you don't really go and check it's more for, like the buyers and the managers um for us it's more like we have stuff at the back and then the deliveries um so you have to make sure that everything is out so people can you know get in buy it obviously right so i guess it's like controlling more or less what's going on at the back mm-hmm. that everything is being sorted out or everything is being taken out um and yeah to be able for them to purchase right um so in terms of LIFO and FIFO, which one do you use? Do you do first in, first out, or last in, first out? First in, first out, mainly because of the data. So you have to, sorry. <laughs> uh, so you have to take all the ones out the back and put them at the, you know, at the front, otherwise right. they're not going to be bought and that's going to expire sooner. Um, so yeah, everything that you feel that is new, that is a new order, you have to put it at the back. But <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's mainly the procedure that we have okay. with the stock. Yeah. Awesome, thank you so much. Um, I have a few more questions. The next one is, in terms of internal control procedures, how do you guys make sure that you protect your assets and you're following proper code of conduct mm-hmm. and just to ensure reliable accountability and accounting methods. How do you guys go about that in Whole Foods? So I think, that's what I said before, like I think it's personal responsibility as well. Like the people that we work here, um, you work as a team and you know the people you work with. So that kind of thing, like feeling like a family is kind of a control, like behavior control because mm-hmm. problems with anybody, you can talk it, you can yeah. talk it out yeah. instead of, you know. Completely. Yeah. Okay, and the last one is how do you record sales and purchases of inventory? So like what goes on behind the scenes that the customers don't see? So I guess, so, you're not. so for example, uh, we do stock takes. Okay. So that's counting everything that we have you in the store. You do do that. Yeah. Do you and do we, that personally? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've God. done, I've done, in many companies I've done a lot. Okay. Uh, in this one I've done one. Tomorrow How long does it take? One. Oh my gosh, good luck. <laughs> yeah. The section is going to be here. So uh-huh. if everybody, you know, if everybody works in the same kind of pace, you'll, it should only take the same amount of hours that you would do. Yeah. Um, so it's like eight hours. Yeah. That should be fine if everybody puts. <laughs> No, but that's one way that we do. Okay. So we do stock takes. We can just stock um, as well. We do the day checks. Um, okay. So everything gets counted. Everything gets into a Excel. And obviously, when you do this stock day, you go with a machine, so you're counting everything. As well, we do wastage. So everything that you see that you know is open or it's damaged, all those things we kind of write them off of the excel of the stuff mm-hmm. that we have yeah and all the refunds everything like that, that we okay have. well thank you so much what yeah, location are, where are we right now what neighborhood is this in london uh, this is kensington okay kensington, South kensington. okay yeah. thank you so much